Constantino. Ole. Pound for pound. It's fight week. Yeah, we're excited now. We're in the last day in here, here in LA. Well, what do you think about the fight? Obviously, of course, you know. uh, of course, I think that uh, we will have the victory. I think we do with a uh, knockout in the late rounds, probably nine or ten rounds. What, what do you what do you make of uh, Uga being the last minute replacement? What, what do you make of that? Well, uh, we're just happy that uh, the fight is not cancelled. You know, we, yeah. we, we can't do anything about uh, Spence injury, so we're just happy that uh, the fight goes goes on. Okay, and we're also, lucky that uh, Ugas is there Ugas and is, ready. Ugas is there. Ugas is ready, yeah. and um, and he's a very good fighter. Huh? Yeah, he's not very, a slouch. Very good fighter, not a slouch. Has fought Porter, has fought the who's who in the welterweight division. Yeah, is it safe to say is this Manny Pacquiao's last fight? What do you think? Oh, we don't know. I don't know. Um, personally, I think it's not. No. Yeah, you it's think not. he has like two, three more. Probably one or two. One or two. Mm -hmm. And uh, Wendon. Uh, talk about, you know, you know Pacquiao on a personal level, you know, he's mm -hmm. been there for you. Talk about some of the things that he's done for you, like... Oh man, I'm, probably I, I could cry if I... If I um, we met, we met uh, 10, 11 years ago. Uh -huh. um, I was sick, I had uh, leukemia, I had cancer. And then I asked uh, him for help. He helped me with my medications. And uh, that's, that's, that's how he knew me. And then after, I, after my treatment, uh, when I get well, when I beat cancer, he hired me as his photographer. What did he tell you during that time that he helped you with your expenses? You know, uh, I approached him in a hotel lobby. He didn't even know me. And then I just said, uh, Manny, uh, boss, I need, I need help in my medication. Uh, it's very expensive. We, very expensive. We can't afford it anymore because I've been sick for five years. And then he just said, no problem. <laughs> What, what? I think that's two, 2011 or 2010. No, I did, I, and when, when you were getting better, what did he tell you? Uh, when, I'm, when I'm slowly getting better, I, visit, I visited him at his gym. And then uh, I said to him that, uh, Manny, can I, shoot you, can I shoot in your gym? And then, I, then he permitted me. Uh, he introduced me to his security. So I have access to his uh, training. And then one day I I printed all my you know pictures and then I gave it to him to them as to him as gifts, and then that's when he told me uh, if I want to shoot for him. Well, what does he mean to you? What does Manny mean to you? Wow, he, I owe I owe him part of my life. That that's uh, that's what the man means to me. Very humble, obviously. It's things like that is stories that people don't hear about, but mm -hmm. that does happen with Pacquiao, mm -hmm. right? He doesn't know me. I'm a stranger to him. And then I approached him in the hotel lobby. They asked for help and he helped me. It's a beautiful thing. Anything you want to leave us with? Anything you want the people to know? Um, Senator Pacquiao is a you know, very good person. Um, he's a very good heart. Thank you, Wendell. Gentle heart, gentleman. Constantino Garcia here for Little Giant Boxing. Make sure you guys subscribe and follow me on social media at Constantino Garcia.